Hello friends, it's Lex at Lex Reads. Welcome to my June TBR. So I've actually already posted three TBR videos. I'm participating in five readathons this month, which there's no way I'm actually gonna be super successful at all five of these readathons. But um, I will link down below all three of those TBR videos because I really don't think you want to sit here while I go through 40 minutes of TBRs that I like TBR books that I've already talked about. So if you want to go watch those, I will link those down below. Um, but I'm also going to be doing like vlogs for all of the readathons theoretically. So yes, it's insane. But what we're doing right now, what we're doing right now is we're just going to pick my four June TBR bingo picks. Yeah, okay, so I did not accomplish read a middle grade title. So I'm gonna chuck this back in the jar. I'm gonna mix up. Um, if you don't know how my TBR bingo works, this is a new game that we're playing to try and knock out more books um, for the rest of the year. So every month I pick four prompts out of my TBR bingo jar. I have two TBR bingo boards. The goal is to black out both, board, um, both boards by the end of the year. I got three marks to put on my bingo board last month. I will put up my red bingo board so you can see that last month I did something hard-hitting, a book with a love triangle, and a book I've been putting off. Ooh! Oh, <laughs> this is the best thing I could have pulled. My first prompt is to read an LGBT plus book. The five readathons that I am participating in, in case you were wondering, I'm participating in the uh, Read Your Gays Readathon, the Queer Lit Readathon, which is happening right now. That's May 31st to June 6th. The Read Your Gays Readathon is the 8th through whatever seven days after that is. It's through the 15th, 14th, whatever day that is. And then the Olympic Games Readathon, the Pan Amazon, and the Pride of Pride Athon. Pride -thon, which are all a whole month long. So I have like 20 billion books that are LGBT on my TBR. So read an LGBT book. Ah, oh, perfect. This is read a poetry collection. That's one of my fill prompts this week for the Queer Lit Readathon. So that also. Okay, okay, and that's on my blue board. The first one can be on either board because that's actually on both boards, but I can only use like one book per square. Ooh, okay. This one says read some sci-fi. I'm actually in the middle of a sci-fi book right now, but I also have some sci-fi on my TBR for the month. Perfect. Last month I really did not look out, and this month I'm just, it's going swimmingly. And this last one, ooh, less excited about this. The last one is to read a classic. Okay, so I have to read a classic. That's, that's doable. So let's go through and see. So some of my options are as follows. I'll just give you a short list of LGBT books that are on my TBR for the month. Um, I am going to read We Unleash the Merciless Storm by Taylor K. Mejia, which is a Latinx queer dystopian book. I'm going to read uh, Dress Codes for Small Towns by, I think it's Courtney Stevens. I'm going to try and read Autobiography. I'm going to try to read Far From You. I'm going to try to read The Lumberjanes, which is a graphic novel. There's like 15 other ones. That's a good handful of books that I plan to read that could fill this prompt. <laughs> for read a poetry collection, that is a prompt um, on the Queer Lit Readathon, and for that I picked Queer Black Ho by Brittany Black Rose Capri, and so I do plan on reading that. I have that one, and I'm stoked, so perfect. Four, read some sci-fi. Right now, like I said, I'm reading a sci-fi right now. I'm currently 30% of the way into Half-Life by Lillian Clark. Um, so if I don't finish that before June, 
it'll go in my June books. And then if I finish that in June, that'll count. But I also, this month, the other main sci-fi book that I've put on my TBR for the month is The Disasters, which is right back behind me, by M.K. England. So, sci-fi. And then lastly, read a classic. On my... Here's a thought. I actually do have a classic on my TBR. On my TBR for the Olympic Games readathon, I picked some books for every one of the advanced prompts, even though I probably won't get around to all of them. And one of the things that I have is um, Plato's... Shit, what is it? Which one is it? Is it Symposium? It might be Symposium. Give me a sec. Yes, Plato's Symposium, um, which I think counts as a classic. It's Plato, so I'm going to count it. So if I can knock out those four books, I will get four more friends for my bingo. Yes, and like I said, I already have three full legitimate TBR videos where I'm like, here are the 14 prompts, here's my book for every prompt. Um, so if you're interested in the more specifics of all of my readathon TBRs, well, three of my readathon TBRs, because after making three, I was like, this is ridiculous, especially because I'm basically using those three readathons for my other two readathons and just having as like using the overlap to do Panamathon and Pridathon. Because I only have, a, I think it's a three or a four book TBR for Pridethon. Um, and the Panamathon is one of those readathons where they're like, you can kind of do as much or as little as you want. I will read at least one book, which is for my district. I guess I can tell you that right now. Um, for my district, I am participating on Team 5, District 5, which is the Power District. My camera died, so hello, friend on my phone. <laughs> um... What I, was, what I was saying was that, so for Panamathon, my, I'm participating for district, I mean, as District 5. Our district-specific prompt is to read an ebook or listen to an audiobook. I don't listen to audiobooks, but I do love a good ebook. so a good handful of my um, books on my TBR this month are ebooks. So I'm just going to read ebooks, and I, like, have written down the prompts, like, the prompts for all of the other districts, but I'm honestly just going to do whatever overlaps with the three readathons that I'm actually focusing on, which are my Olympic Games readathon, the Read Your Gaze readathon, and the Queer Lit readathon. I'm just going to shove in whatever overlap there is for my Panathon and my Prideathon. Yes. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Sorry we're doing the intro a little bit weirdly. My hair, I need to shower. It's greasy as hell. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you guys very soon. Lots of content coming out this month. Some fun readathon vlogs. I'm super stoked. Thank you for hanging with me. Goodbye, friends.